If you are here, you are in love with high yielding dividends and I understand it, this is probably the highest yield you could ever look at. And it is one of the riskiest ETFs I think I've seen ever. And that's saying a lot because I've looked at these yield max funds for a while. So uh, this is too insane of an ETF to talk about some random thing like dividend investing in the long term and how you can do well with it and how, how great it is because we all know that if you're looking to buy ticker CONY, you are not into dividend investing as typical investors are. You are into the high risk stuff or maybe you're here just, just to watch the video and see how many shares because it will blow your mind, but we will get to that. We're going to jump right into the meat of this ETF and talk about what you're going to want to know. And then later, I'm going to show you exactly how many shares and how much money you would need to put into this ETF to bring in $500 a month from just the dividend. Now, price appreciation is another thing. We will talk about that a little bit, but I do promise you that the number will shock you. You are not anticipating this number. It is wild. So the current yield for ticker CONY is 159%. According to the Yield Max website, that puts this ETF into the highest risk category for most investors. Anything over, to be honest, 15%. Red flags if it's over a 15% yield with no good reason. And this is at 159. So that just goes to show this thing's insane. Now, it is the highest yielding ETF or stock that I own. Um, and now before you judge me for owning this, I put it into the $1,000 dividend account for that challenge I'm doing. Not in my retirement account. Although if it continues to pay out dividends like we have seen... I may consider adding some. That is not financial advice, but we're going to go ahead and jump straight into what you want to know about this ETF. It is mind-blowing. Also, if you really want to follow my journey through this dividend jungle and want to grow our dividends and our stock accounts together, let me know by subscribing. The first thing we need to address with these Yieldmax ETFs, all right? They're, they're a bit frightening. I'm not even going to lie to you. Ticker TSLY it's been rough. They're probably the riskiest things you can buy on the stock market besides penny, penny stocks. I would say the pink sheet stocks. These ones are still up there, you know? So TSOY has done nothing but trail down since its inception. Look at the chart. It has not been pretty for this ETF. And I don't think Coney, should I call it Coney or C-O-N-Y? I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to choose. I don't think C-O-N-Y is going to, is going to do anything different. If I was a guessing man, um, now I still own it, like I said, but I, that's what I foresee in the future of this ETF. Now, for those of you that don't know, CONY is a covered call ETF based off ticker COIN, which is the Coinbase. And I do like Coinbase stock. I actually do own it. I've owned some for a while. <clears throat> it is in the negatives for me, unfortunately. But I think long term, Coinbase has some potential, which isn't really what you want for a covered call ETF. You kind of want them to train to trade sideways. Um, but let's talk about the paid out dividends so far. So it has it has four dividends that's paid out. The first one was a dollar and twenty one cents. The second was a dollar and eight cents. And then we really started to ramp things up with the second most recent being two dollars and forty six cents, and the most recent being two dollars and sixty nine cents. Ha ha. Have to throw in the last for sixty nine, of course. Now this adds up to a total dividend payout of seven dollars and forty four cents. Which, when we multiply that by three, we get twenty two dollars and thirty two cents, which is the anticipated amount of dividends you would get because we've had four months. We multiply that by three for the full twelve months for the year. So from one share, you would end up getting twenty two dollars and thirty two cents. Now, C O N Y is currently trading for what is it? Twenty dollars and 79 cents so that 20 dollars and 79 cents that means you're gonna have over a 100 percent yield but we are not at the 159 percent yield like they say so that is something to also note but it is still reaching a 107 percent yield which is absolutely out of this world and if you're upset that it's not the 159 exactly there's still time for them to ramp it up but any yield in the hundreds is, again, terrifyingly high. So if you're really thinking about investing into this for anything more than laughs, please be careful. Please look at the other funds and how they have performed. And let me know how it turns out because, honestly, I am so curious. I kind of just want to throw like $1,000 into this thing. I'm not going to do that because I just, well, it's too much money. I'm poor, but still, it would be really nice. But if I had $1,000 and I put it into CONY and I lost it all, I'd be super depressed. So... 
But we are going to talk about the $500 a month because it is an extremely low number. I think it's the lowest we've ever seen throughout the entire series on how many shares that I've done. Again, so we're going to skip the scary part about this ETF. Do your own research. Do your own data checking, DD, all of that. And be careful, as always. Um, but we're going to move right into the fun part and see just how much money this fund can make you. Okay, so we're going to play around with this in the dividend calculator. You guys can see my cat. We are on trackyourdividends.com, my favorite dividend calculator. And when I plugged in all the information, our annual yield of 159%. We're going to do one year. We're going to start with $1,000 and see exactly what that gets us with zero monthly contributions. This is all paid out at the beginning of the year. We're not incorporating share price growth or dividend growth because I don't know what it's going to be and it could shrink, which would really affect this. But this is just based off of how it's been trading recently. So we can see I already ran this first one and basically $1,000, you end the year with $1,500 in dividends plus your total value of $1,000. So you end the year with roughly $2,600, which is insane. Now, remember, we're trying to hit $6,000 a year, which is $500 every single month. So it's going to be a little under $4,000. Let's put in $3,800, and that puts us at $6,042. Beautiful spot, really close. We're going to have a little bit left over every month with that $500, but still no complaints. So you have $6,000 a year in dividends. You have your total value of $3,800 from your initial investment. This then gets reinvested, and this is where it gets absolutely insane. So number of years. If we go from one year to three years, you end with... 47,000. You're getting total dividends throughout the entire throughout all years, 3 years would be $50,000. In 3 years with compounding, you would have $50,000 off a of $4,000 investment. So this is why the math doesn't really add up with this because if this was the case, everybody would become millionaires, right? And then let's do more. Like let's go 10 years. So in 10 years, you would end up with over a million dollars paid total in dividends and you would end with um, one million eighty one thousand five hundred dollars and that million every year would actually that because the dividend yield is changing it is going down but they have you still making three hundred thousand dollars off of that dividend if the yield stayed consistent well things would be crazy so that just goes to show you how much money you can make with dividends of course CONY is the riskiest I think the riskiest dividend stock you money can buy right now absolutely insane so we're gonna run the math and see exactly how many shares you would actually need. We know that we need $3,800, which is almost nothing, but we're gonna do that 3,800 divided by the market price it was when I first made the video when it was trading it for the exact um, dividend yield I talked about. You'd need about 182 shares, 182 shares, but look at how it has downtrended. Over the last five days, it's already down almost 9% and 20% down in the month. Now, it did have a crazy rise up. I'm not sure if this was due to popularity that it ran 60, 64%, but since then, it has fallen remarkably 30.5%. So very, very risky. They even dropped the yield recently. I'm not sure why the distribution rate was calculated differently than it was, but the, the stock price went down, which would normally make the yield go up, but the yield went down with the stock price. So it was a double double loss there. All in all, we've gone over a lot of things with CONY. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is worth purchasing. This ETF is high risk, high reward. We'll see where it ends up going. And as always, I will see you in the next one.